Welcome to YTBC News, where you're going to hear shit, but it's going to be facts. And now, your host, the Action Guy. Hi, ladies and gentlemen. I'm the Action Guy. And today, in YTBC News, it seems... That 68 has been going around trying to terrorize the YTBC. First, he had some shit with Aztec 101. Then Zone 6 had to put him in his fucking place. The Red Glove Militant even had a piece of that ass. And now, once again, Jay Cotto. has stepped forward and I have a very special interview with Jay Cotto but the thing you have to understand here is that when we all look at the situation Jay Cotto didn't start this shit what started it all was an emotional one man who's very emotional this guy is an emotional mess He's all over the fucking place. His name is 68. I had a chance to sit down and talk to Mr. Cotto. And Jay Cotto had a lot to say. And now... Talking with this nigga segment with your host, the action guy. Okay, welcome to the talking to this nigga segment. And today, talking with us, we got this nigga, J. Cotto. How you doing? I'm good, action man. I'm good, man. I- I'm I'm very happy you know what I'm saying that you are giving me the opportunity to speak my piece you know what I'm saying absolutely Jay absolutely now let me ask you a question now let's get into this interview shall we fuck yeah okay is 68 a sellout to his race I mean seems like it don't it Listen, man, from what I know, you know what I'm saying, 60 is a fucking sellout. He's a straight fucking sellout. You know, he runs around, he walks around and, 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 you know, with this fight the power shit, but deep down inside, he, 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 he loved the white man. He praises the white man. I think he's angry. I think, I think... I think his man side, if he has one, is upset with the side that's now, which is the faggot side. You know what I'm saying? I think right now he's really upset at himself and he's just lashing out. I mean, action guy. There's no, there's no, you know, there's no other explanation. You know, he was, he was once heard. All right. He was once heard. On Boxing Beats and Rhymes, peace to him. He was heard on Boxing Beats and Rhymes. A while back. Saying that white people are sort of better than black people because they don't settle. He said that now. He said that. Wow. That is fucking crazy. That's wow. Understand this, folks. You're fucking with a fake nigga. You know what I'm saying? This nigga walk around because I hear him all the time trying to talk boxing. And that's another thing. That's another thing. He just started watching boxing, action guy. Yo, fight fans, don't let this nigga try to front. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? I was told by a very credible source, you know what I mean? That he just started watching boxing in 2012, man. You feel me? Wow. Wow. So this nigga here just told y'all that 68 is a fucking casual pretending... Like, he likes his people, 
You know what I'm saying? But then he's going out and saying that the white man is better. Whoa, that's crazy, man. Yeah, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, yeah. He's a setout. He's a fucking setout. All right, breaking news. Holy shit. Breaking news, folks. Breaking fucking news. Sixty-eight was just seen leaving a dildo store in New York City's village. Get the rest of the news at eleven. Wow. <laughs> Yo, my man just got caught leaving a dildo shop in the village of Manhattan. Yo, what I tell you? What did I tell you? You know, another thing, man. Another thing, action guy. This dude is not only a fucking sellout and a coon. You know what I'm saying? This motherfucker here. This motherfucker here is definitely gay. And he's a he's a in the closet homo. He's definitely in the fucking closet. You want to know why? Why? Exactly, Jay. Tell me. Tell us all why. Well, action guy, ladies and gentlemen, fight fans. This guy's a fucking homo because every fucking time he has to step up to the plate and defend himself, he, he comes with a fucking gay banter. And another gay banter. And another gay banter. And another gay banter. Huh, let me finish it off for you. And another gay banter. And another gay banter. And another one. Exactly, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, fucking, he's bugging out. Now, now, does 68 really have no job? Man, listen, this nigga's a house husband, okay? This guy cooks and cleans for his wife. He don't even, I, I don't know what else he does. You know what I'm saying? My man be wearing fucking nightgowns and shit. You know what I'm saying? With his, with his daughter's socks. I mean, it, it's crazy. It's disgusting. Really, if you ask me, wait a minute, wait a minute. This nigga here just told us that 68 be wearing his daughter's socks with a nightgown. Oh my goodness. Wow. Wow. This is, this is amazing. Keep going, Jay. Well, you know what I'm saying? And, and you know, lad, you know, he's with this shit now, with this, uh, you know, Jay Cotto has AIDS. Get the fuck out of here with that bullshit. Nigga, I got a three-legged horse you can get on. You know what I'm saying? If you can bounce without hurting yourself, then you the fucking man, which I doubt very much. You're fucking crazy. Well, you have the you have the floor, Jay. You might as well, uh, you know, clear that shit up because I'll tell you right now, man. <laughs> I would have nah 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 nah. First of all, my family, friends, and everybody who fucks with me, they know there's nothing wrong with this this man right here. You know what I'm saying? Clean bill of health. Never was just because I got some dark spots on my face simply because uh you know razor burn. What a man does, shave. But this motherfucker here, he he just totally looked like Roger Mayweather's lips, man. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what the fuck he talking about. So this guy, he was fucking, he looked like Chris Eubanks fucking senior and shit. Yeah, I mean, listen, man. The age shit is just basically him shooting blanks. You know what I'm saying? He has no style. Zone 6 aired him out. Oh, man, I was there for that one. I tell you right now. Huh. He, he really swept the fucking floor with this guy. Yeah, definitely, man. He sure fucking did. He sure fucking did. And not only that, Aztec 101. You know what I'm saying? Burnt his ass and a couple of other fellas too. But it, it's just to the point here, action guy. Ladies and gentlemen, fight fans. This guy doesn't fit in to the YTBC. You know what I mean? So, basically, man... I'm not fucking with him. We reached out many times. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> try to try to say what's up in it, but but that's just the way he is. You know what I'm saying? He has a Napoleon complex, man. He's upset because he comes up short. You know what I mean? But I just want to say this, man, to 68. You feel what I'm saying? I just want to say this to 68. You big should have been swallowed, come drunk, elephant dick cleansing, 
non-working, cleaning the dog with your eyes wide shut, Vaseline and KY jelly advocate, as well as swinging from the white race while stabbing your own race in the back, midlife crisis, masculine chewing, acid and oxtail mashing, wannabe food network having ass nigga. What made you actually think that you stood a chance? Ah, uh, motherfucker. All this race baiting that you've been doing. But you're the sellout. The coon. In real life, bro. In real fucking life. You made a channel about boxing a while back. Now, as we look at it. First you was. First you, you, you came out. Criticizing people as 68 triumphant. You know what I'm saying? I broke that shit down. And I turned you into 68 house husband. And you named your channel that. I made you change your name. Understand, son? I made you change your channel name. And now you're posting women pics over your videos dedicated to men? But other niggas are the faggots. You're bugging the fuck out, 68. I think you're going through a midlife crisis. I think you're upset because your wife pulls more money than you into the home. You feel what I'm saying? And all this is factual. All this is facts, my nigga. Facts. You know why it's facts? Because somebody that lives around you is a subscriber to me. Not even your own fucking in-laws like you, my nigga. I am airing you out Swiss cheese, nigga. Left in the wind I'm talking about Patrick Swayze Nigga You like the wind You done You done You you ha You're totally irrelevant And I hope I hope my brothers over at the YTBC And the LDBC as well Understand that 68 Triumphant Is a fucking Coon in your standards Right guys Right Cause what he said It's out there On top of that who can respect a man who makes his wife work and he doesn't do a goddamn thing but kick his feet up with his fucking daughter's socks on and talk shit about and criticizes about everybody's fucking content on their channel. But yeah, he don't know what the fuck he's talking about. This nigga got no motherfucking class. He has no idea what the fuck he talks, what he speaks, what he thinks. You understand, holy man? No one wants to be like you. No one wants to talk to you. And soon, your subs will know the truth. You sold your race out, dog. Checkmate, Darkwing Duck. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. YTBC News Special. Jay Cotto just aired out. 68. The house husband. No irrelevance. No life. Shit stains. And for Jay Cotto. Nothing but glory. So now at 68, goes off into the sunset like the faggot that he is. Let's give him a goodbye and a good fuck you. A six ounce jar of KY jelly, a big tub of Vaseline, five percent off of every lubricant in the store. And off he goes. I'm sorry, 68, but you're done. You're done. Oh, and one more thing. We know that it's 68 rendezvous. But what exactly are you trying to rendezvous with? We know. Silverback dicks. <laughs> This has been a YTBC special.
stay tuned. God bless. Stay vigilant.